Yes, I do. Proud of it. The world of Gotham is about to get even more twisted and dark as the show continues with the Wrath of the Villains chapter beginning Monday night on Fox. We're such a dark show already, but it really, it really gets real. And uh, especially for Oswald Cobblepot, I mean, he goes through one of most profoundly horrifying, uh, torturous experiences that he's ever faced in his life. <laughs> More than introducing new villains, we're having our villains from previous seasons uh, reborn. Um, although we do get into Mr. Freeze uh, immediately at the beginning of the second half of the second season, uh, we also have some villains who were around before who are reborn in the Indian Hill Laboratory run by Hugo Strange. Highly anticipated returns include fan favorites. Jade is back. Fish Mooney's back. The fish is on the chopping block. She's coming back. Um, uh, in a new way, and um, I think it will be very uh, captivating television. Are you sure this is what you want? After everything this job has put us through? Positive. For Jim Gordon, his day job and his home life will be affected by his recent choices. Jim's demons are not going to play out in his personal life well. He is um, uh, uh, going to pay the price for what he's done, what he's about to do. Um, and what the audience is going to see. And he pays a price, not only with his own sort of, um, his own existence, but his relationships. And um, none more so than, than with Lee. Alfred and Bruce Wayne will continue their training. He trains him and he teaches him his own set of morals and code of conduct and everything like that. So there's a lot of Alfred in Batman, you realize now. Which means young Bruce will keep getting closer and closer to the cape crusader he's destined to become. Absolutely. I think one of the things that's really, that's really, really awesome about this second half of the season is um, you really start to see these trademark qualities of Batman um, that really start to come out and you start to see their origins. And uh, it's, it's really great. Please forgive me if I've offended you, Jim. In New York, Rick Leventhal, Fox News. <laughs>